How's it going everybody? Welcome back again into our farmlands here in our single player world. As per the usual, we're going to be doing some building today and this building is going to be a whole bunch of fun building because I've got a few ideas that we're going to be looking at which we've actually used before and we're going to make them a little bit different because I'm kind of thinking of this build and I'm trying to think because I've done this before and I can't remember where I've done it, where I've built a building, built a building on the building, built a building on the building and built a building on that type thing. Build on and on and on. Actually, I just remembered. It's uh, it's the ship with the tower in and the bar on it. That that building right there. You can't tell from here, but it's three buildings in one. And we're going to sort of do a similar sort of thing where we're going to have the windmill with the barn kind of stuck onto it, but an afterthought and then a house onto the barn and the windmill as another afterthought, even though all these thoughts are thoughts before. So they pre-thoughts. You get what I mean. That's the whole point is we want to build one thing and build another thing and make sure each of them have the details that we want them to each have. And I, I really think it turns out to have a much better build. The other big, big thing, because last episode, I was a little bit lazy after building this, which takes a lot longer than you might expect. But I was busy putting these blades in and I realized that the blades were one block too close. You guys may remember that. And the problem was that I couldn't make a little bit of a lip on the roof. And I kind of told myself, you know, it'll work, we can make it work. But then it was just bugging me, knowing that I had left it there. And this actually will be the perfect angle for it. Right there. And now it's got this little lip on this side and a lip on that side. So I actually went through and replaced each and every one of these trap doors. So I had to remove, well, first place the oak ones. Remove the oak and the birch and then replace the birch and push these all one block that way, which I got to tell you it I felt like it took longer than me actually designing it just to place a block and break a block and place a block and oh man You get the picture. It took forever. So I am not gonna be moving those blades ever again They are stuck there right now. It is also getting very very close to the night time Which means we're gonna go and rest and then kick off some building in the following day, but today was a very, very eventful day for me because I was out in the nether and uh, I did not die, which is always a good deal. And what I was doing out in the nether was collecting a whole load of netherrack. And you may remember, because this this is going back a while in the series. I, yeah, I've got enough health to jump. Bam. A while back, we built ourselves a netherwart farm, which was nothing spectacular besides the fact that it was just huge for no apparent reason. So I've got a whole bunch of nether wart cooking in, well, nether rack cooking in here, ready for some nether wart for some interesting stuff, which I had planned ages ago, and I still have not touched it until today. And also, by the way, this is the building I was talking about. So we've got the, the watchtower with a boat, with a bar on top of it. And we've kind of done each one individually. And I think that really works. I think the tree actually, well, the tree actually might be coming out of it, the palm tree. Or is it right next to it? No, it goes right through it. So you can see each piece by piece, it just slowly starts to work. And hey, before we go and build some stuff, I've got a very good idea. And that idea requires me to look up a recipe and I've actually never used this system before, but this, oh, what is that? Spectral arrow. Okay, I, I got no idea what that is, but I need to find out more. Where is the campfire? Please tell me where it is, because I have not remembered how to make these things. All right, so it was actually super easy, but in the end we are learning. I'm a little bit lost in the way of the new recipes, but sooner or later I'm going to know all of them like the back of my hand. But right there, this one is actually a very important one. Uh, there we got it right, which is a good thing. Now I'm kind of upset because I do like this little design, but I do like the particles very, 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 very much. So particles win. So actually. I'm just curious what that looks like. I know the flames coming out would not look like a proper chimney, but I'm just curious what that actually looks like. Um, nothing too interesting. The particles are getting caught up there, which is pretty... Uh, it's pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> I wouldn't have wanted them to do that, but that's alright. It's not a big deal. It's actually, as I say, a lot more interesting than other particles, so that is... A neat little thing so let's just put these around and I'm not a big fan of the whole spruce trapdoor going around blocking it but no other trapdoors block the whole thing so we don't really have too much of a choice how does that look yeah that, that'll work I think that'll work 
and it just adds a little bit of life to this area. Do we have any more of these chimneys around? I don't think so. I think that's the only thing with it right now. So let's get ready to tackle our next little project, which is going to be this part over here, the barn itself. And as I say, I want to do the barn first and then we'll work our way on from the barn. And this is going to be winging it with some pre conceived ideas, I guess. So we're going to go around here and we'll put in halfway. Maybe we do it one from halfway there just to throw it off a little bit. And we're going to go one, two, three. That's, Three. I want to do seven. I think seven will be a good good number of blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that, that seems like it'll be right. And what we want to do is we want to put a little bit of a barn door in here. And actually, we could do it at the front here. Let me just see where it goes. I was kind of picturing it from the from that side to be able to be viewed. But yeah, so we'll, we'll put the barn door right in here. And then we will have it go up to about this height here. And we'll push it back as far as we need to do. So I think what we do, let's just do an old design. We we'll almost made that. An old design that is tested and it works and it works well. There it is. If that doesn't look very... Oh, oops. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, if that doesn't look very familiar to you, you may notice it from the docks over there. And that was what I was talking about. Now, the cool thing about this is it looks pretty boring. Let's just get up here, which is easier said than done. We'll just get up here and you'll see that this is pretty boring. It doesn't have a cool little shape to it. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to use a few little sneaky tricks, you see. So if we, for instance, go with maybe some stairs there. Can we get it there? And maybe a slab. Well, we could do stairs, but we'll just do a slab for now. Slab there, see how it goes. There, there, and some stairs around here. Like that, or like this. And maybe something on the edge. I think we ended up actually doing that on the last one. You see, it kind of gives this illusion that that is actually a proper curve to it. I think maybe the stairs actually were the right call here. Let's do that. Can we get it? And no, that's backwards. And the correct, no, still not the correct way. Please, Jancy, you've done this how many times? How do you not know how to do that? So jump in over here. Yeah, so the way this looks right now isn't too interesting. I think I'll push that up one, but if we put the... Well, it is interesting, but it isn't working too well. I've got to stop using that word. It's, it is interesting. It's just not using, <laughs> working that well. If we put a stair up that way, a stair up that way, push that middle piece up, it'll have a nice little curve to it. And the next goal of this is to get a roof on it. And that's where those blocks that we've been waiting for. And I don't think I've actually placed any of them in this world out of memory, although I'm probably forgetting one. And those are the red nether brick blocks, which I've totally got to use. And I've been waiting to use them for ages. I just haven't yet actually just gone ahead and done them. And this is the time, this is where it starts to happen. I'm a little bit concerned though, and a little bit worried because we are going to be using the red nether brick for the first time on a farm and I'm not too sure if the farm is really where it's going to suit it. I thought it was going to suit quite well for a main city to have another color roof. So for instance, you got the dark prismarine, even maybe some of the lighter prismarine. Yeah, that looks good. Even maybe some of the lighter prismarines that look quite good for roofs. And then of course, all of the woods. And then now you've got the red nether brick. I think that works so darn well. Although in saying that, I, I feel like the nether brick is a really underused block for me at least. And I, I think it's Probably because it's such a weird color. I don't know why. I've just never been able to use those properly. Maybe I should give them a try sometime. Okay, so let's get up here and we get this roof going. I know it's kind of weird that we're getting the roof done before that's in, but hey, I'm going to rather do the roof and get these things working and then we can always just fill in the blanks, which is pretty much going to be this mirrored on the other side without the door. So really, it's a, it's its own thing. So we'll, we'll deal with that when we get to it. Here we go. We've got ourselves the red nether brick as well. And if you, it, I don't know if, look, there is one weird thing that's going on today. And I'm going to say it now because it's going to happen and you're going to notice it. Uh, in fact, you could probably notice it from a clip, like maybe two clips ago. I don't know. When we were, when we were looking for the recipe for the campfire, I had a look at it then and I thought it was going a bit weird, but there is something very strange going on at the moment on my computer. It's so strange. All of a sudden, everything kind of poops itself every few months and then it fixes itself somehow, whether it be through me fixing it with my own methods or whether it just be magic. Uh, I don't know, but 
right now there was a Windows update queued and I was like, that probably is what is causing this problem. I restarted my computer, let the update go on and the double clicking mouse problem is gone. But now I've got these weird movements with my mouse where all of a sudden it kind of just moves there and goes like that. It's very, very weird. So if that is the case, if you guys think it's maybe on your side going a bit weird, no, it's just me. And maybe, maybe it is just me. Maybe that's the, maybe the, the real one with the problem is just me. You know, maybe that's what's actually going on. So what I've done here, by the way, with this roof is we've got a nice little bit of a slow curve. Look at that. Kind of just like what we did with the door. In fact, I, I might want to put in one of those there and one of those there. I think that will work. I know I can make this jump. Yes, perfect. All right, so the next thing is, I think we go up from there, 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 and do a neat little bit of a curve to this roof. And then we'll just whittle it down from this side here. Now we'll just go back again and then fill in the blanks. Pretty much just like what we did on the roof of the this piece here. We're gonna do the same sort of thing here and then we'll obviously have to drop it down the other way. The most important thing that could go wrong is the color. So inevitably we have to build this and then just see if it works. Just a few more blocks placed later. I did do a few little changes, but please, you know what? I sincerely hope this looks absolutely disgusting and we never have to use red nether brick again. Cause if I love this block, I'm going to be spending a lot of time in the nether. So the moment of truth. I quite like this block. Dang it. <laughs> Why does this have to happen? You know what? I, I always pick the hardest blocks to get, but they look so darn good. Yeah, but uh, I'm, I'm going to definitely keep that. I'm going to be using that a lot. Actually, it's dark enough to not outshine all the blocks around it which works so darn well the only thing with the roof is not the color but the shape it might need a little bit of an overhang there which is not a problem at all but i've just opened myself up to a whole bunch of roofs made out of red nether brick which is gonna be a uh, bunch of fun to make at least we did get the whole red nether brick or the nether wart part of the red nether brick all sorted, which is great. Yeah, that is looking so, so good. I've just messed around a little bit more with this and it's really starting to blend in really well with the rest of the building. There's a, a few little pieces of this roof, which I'm not 100% happy with, but really it does look pretty darn good from down there specifically. Now, what we'll do, let's put in this wall over here for now, and then we'll put in the side wall as well, but that's gonna be a fairly boring one. And the reason for that is I plan on putting the house. Remember we were talking a bit earlier when I said, I want to put on an extra house piece on this, but that'll be a separate build. So we complete this, complete that, and then we complete the house, which is gonna be the uh, the next big deal with this, but we're not gonna do that. That's like a, a big project in its own right. But I really love the way this little project has turned out today. Just the little pieces. Oh, oh <laughs> I forgot that we didn't have real land under here. Uh, but all these little pieces, they've really just, pulled together quite nicely for something that's quite a simple, well, rectangular box, really. That's all it is. A rectangular box with an interesting roof and it's working out so, so well. And not to end that just yet, because I think we've got some other stuff which is going to work out pretty darn good here because I've got this little bit of a, a lip here and I plan on making that an overhang so we can go and put this down over there and we'll go around there just as holding blocks. Like, oh, <laughs> that was in the way. Okay, that explains something. Actually, you know what? Hold that thought. Okay, holding blocks. Remember holding blocks, holding thoughts. Okay, the other day when I was recording the uh, windmill, uh, what are they called? The blades? I noticed something. Look at this. Remember I was, I found myself on the floor. It's a new thing. It's like a new thing. So as soon as you open a trap door on top of you, you go into what I think, is that the swimming position? I don't know what that is. I'm not too sure, but it looks so silly. It's it's so done. Look at this. As soon as I go out of it, bam, back to it. I don't know if it's the flying position or the swimming position. I, th I guess we could actually test that out with a uh, with a, a pair of elytra and a rocket, but I assume maybe it's the swimming one. For instance, when you spin through, swim through all those little uh, crevices and stuff, it's, it's just a funny thing. It's very, very odd. You caught me well off guard. Uh, and now back to the holding blocks, of course. So the holding blocks are here and right over, front of all, let me go around, right over there. And that's gonna be just enough for us to get this on. And I thought this would look pretty darn cool for the side piece to have this little window in here to let a bit of light into the barn. 
And of course, that also means we can get rid of this, but uh, that, that, as I say, the, the house itself will dictate where that goes. So now what we need to do is just fill in this around here and a very simple wall should hopefully be quite an interesting looking wall as well. So we do those there and I think we might have to put some oak pieces down the bottom, but we'll see what it looks like now. Um, okay, interesting. Yes, a little bit weird. Yes, of course, but we'll do that. Trim those. Looks a lot better, and then we'll just continue the oak down this way over here, and that should be good for a potential side entrance door to the barn, or just a plain wall like this. So we just do a bit of cobblestone, and put it all into here. Something that I've been absolutely loving about this world, and we haven't done this before until this world, and that is the fact that every time we build something, we tend to do the exterior stuff with it. And I think that's got to do a lot with my love for building these trees. I honestly thoroughly enjoy building trees. There's something, sometimes, you know, you just want to zone out, you listen to music, you're watching a YouTube video, you're just kind of building, which is maybe you right now watching the video, kind of weird, but you're kind of just building and building trees, something that you don't have to think too much. You've kind of got the, the rhythm of them. You just keep putting them up. It's really, really relaxing. I love doing that. But doing these little things has really helped bring the world together as we go through it. And I actually want to do a little bit of a, a well, fly out in spectator mode with a really high rent distance one day, just so we can see the area, because I think it would look really awesome to see this whole east coast of this place all built up. But these little pieces here, for instance, well, I can hear zombies somewhere, it must be underground. Uh, but having all these little pieces getting worked in with the rest of the build, I really, really, no, it's definitely not underground. <laughs> with all the pieces working themselves in, it just pulls the builds together from the start, which is what I really love. However, the reason I'm saying that is I've been thinking about it because I've got a little bit of a problem with gathering one particular resource, and that is what's holding me back from really completing these. So you can see over there, looks great. Over here, there's something missing and that is a whole bunch of grass. So I need to work out a good way to get a solid amount of bone meal sometime fairly soon because I would like to keep that whole, the whole momentum of me building these things and keeping them looking good from the beginning uh, going pretty smoothly. So hopefully I can work out a good way of getting a good old mob farm or something going, but that is for another day to work on. Let's just see that. I think, I think maybe the cobblestone is a little bit much. So if we go over here, and of course I'm gonna texture these down. It's not the final thing, but let's just do that. Maybe even one lower. And the reason for that is if we do it one lower, it means we can have a really, really neat set of stairs going up this way uh, into there from here. So it's just kind of thinking ahead for really pointless things. But think of it, we have some stairs walking up to there, a door in there. Yeah, that actually looks really good. In fact. The rare occasion where we have nighttime and the lights are looking pretty sweet. I like that. Wonderful. Now here is what I've been hoping for. Look at this as you walk through. Let's go all of that gone. Just walking through here, it just opens up so well. Look at that. Just out the corner there. Man, I'm loving this. It's actually been one of my challenges I've had for about a year now, trying to get a bit more color into my builds because I tended to build very, very plain because I really like the look of that. But I think the color is so much more of a challenge. If you get it to work, it just pops quite right. And I think this over here is popping quite right. I want to show you what I've done inside as well because I think that's looking pretty good. It's ready for the interior, which I've thought about a little bit, which we're not going to do right now because interiors and me, we, we go back quite far and uh, I still wasn't doing them then, uh, but I will eventually get into them because I think this is one of the places that actually have a cool uh, interior that we could build. For instance, a little bit of a, a grinding place here for the um, ground down wheat and all that sort of stuff, which is something we'll inevitably do. But what this over here is, at least, is uh, an easy way for us to get a cool looking barn. I mean, we can stack a few haystacks over there, a few hay bales over there. And just a few little things over there, but the one thing that I've been looking forward to using, and I saw it from the moment I, well, from the moment I saw it, I knew I wanted to use it for this, and that is the grindstone, the actual grindstone in the game as of 1.14, the new update. Uh, that grindstone placed upside down looks like a pulley, and I've thought, wow, that looks great for factories, 
for barns, for anything, even docks. I mean, man, the docks are going to be transformed by that thing. Now, if only we could have like a working rope that could go through that, my whole Minecraft life would be complete, but <laughs> that is a bit too much for us to ask for. We don't even have working leads on a few, uh, a few simple animals. So that, that is quite a far way, but I would love that. I mean, even, you know, this is just me going crazy, but, uh, like vertical half slabs everyone wants, I reckon horizontal fences. Now that's where it's at, <laughs> but very far-fetched, just my thoughts, but Hey, you know what? That's going to be my thoughts for today because I think we've had a fantastic day and we've got a few great angles which we can just have a look at this thing from, but a, a fantastic episode, a fantastic build, and it's really set us up for that house, which I think is going to be probably two or three times the size of this at least and a whole bunch more uh, detail on it as well connected to this. And I think you can kind of tell where I'm going with this and it's in it's going to be a very, very good place. So thank you so much for joining me today and I will catch you in the next one.